Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another Optimize Plus One. In our last Plus One, we, that would be me, the secret agent OU and our Daimons, spent some time hanging out chatting about the power of agency. Today, we're going to talk about it a little more. But first, a little more context for the discussion we'll have today about why agency is such an important thing to understand and cultivate. As you may know, we're a few months into our first Optimize Coach program. The core of our program is basically a mastery series in which we help our coaches master the content themselves. How else can you coach someone else unless you have attained a high level of mastery, right? And by the way, little note here, when we roll out Coach Class 2 in January 2020, we're currently planning to split up the program into two parts. A mastery series for people who just want to move from theory to practice to mastery while making 2020 the greatest year of their lives, plus an additional set of modules for those who want to go on to become optimized coaches. More on all of that soon. Super fired up. So, as a part of our program, we've been checking in on what our coaches are loving and what they want to make sure we cover in the program. And I actually got goosebumps typing that as it's been so incredibly inspiring to read hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of responses to our little feedback surveys. All of which leads us one step closer to the point of today's Plus One. It's been super inspiring to see what people love the most and it's awesome to see how different people get different things out of the same program. For some, it's been our flip the switch tool from the very first session, which is kind of like a plus one we link to on the site and in the app. For others, it's been our Carpe Diem journal worksheets, more on those soon. And for others, it's been clarifying and crushing their PM bookends, Digital Sunset, and or their AM bookends, pre-inputs, deep work. But one of the most common themes that people said they wanted to make sure we cover is stress, which brings us back to the power of agency, the book and the concept. One of the most powerful distinctions the authors of that book make is the fact that people with super high levels of agency perceive stress in a totally different way than those with lower levels of agency. They call it their eureka moment. They realized that the trick wasn't to help people reduce stress per se. The real goal needed to be helping people build up so much agency that the stress that used to stress them out could be seen as fuel for their journey. We've talked about this before in different contexts. See, for example, threat versus challenge, that plus one is linked. But I just love the idea of, again, building such a strong sense of agency that we are able to approach any and all of life's inevitable challenges with an anti-fragile confidence that alchemizes those challenges into fuel for our optimizing growth. Anti-fragile confidence. That's the name for the module in which we'll help our coaches master this approach. And that's the point of today's plus one. Let's build up so much agency that we rub our hands together and smile as life gives us fuel for our fires. Tomorrow, we'll talk about some ways we can do that. But you already know at least one thing you can do today. What is it? Five, four, three, two, one, go.